This presentation is about American author William Bradford, who lived from 1590 to 1657, and his work, The History of Plymouth Plantation. Who is William Bradford? William Bradford was one of the original separatists who called themselves saints, who were aboard the Mayflower. Bradford helped establish and became a governor of Plymouth Colony for over 30 years. Born in England, he migrated to the Netherlands as a teenager with the other separatists, escaping religious persecution from King James of England, and who then sailed to the New World. Bradford was among the passengers on the Mayflower who signed the Mayflower Compact, or the first governing document in Plymouth, upon arriving in Massachusetts in 1620. Bradford also wrote the two-volume History of Plymouth Plantation, one of the most important early chronicles of the settlements of New England. What were his religious beliefs? William Bradford left the Church of England at age 12 to join a nonconformist congregation. Bradford was a devoted leader of the Bible, and at age 16 he joined an outlaw group of religious separatists who met in nearby Scrooby. In 1608, to avoid religious persecution, he moved with, his, with this group of separatists to Amsterdam and then to Leiden. In 1617, the group decided to leave Holland on a pilgrimage to the New World in order to escape poverty and the fear of being absorbed by the Dutch. The separatists called themselves saints, and they felt they were part of the elect, or the chosen few that God predestined would be saved and end up in heaven whereas he felt the Quakers were damned as they were Indian, as were the Indians, whom he believed were instruments of the Antichrist. The Separatists were heavily influenced by Calvinism and believed that God was intimately involved in people's lives and in providences, or divine interventions in the affairs of men. He believed that the pilgrims were reliving the traits of the children of Israel in the Bible and that they too were a chosen people. After 33 years of serving as the pilgrim's governor, a position ruled by religious law, he saw the death of many original members of the church and newcomers began to question the divine authority of Plymouth's religious leaders. But Bradford held fast to his religious faith until his death. The Mayflower and the Mayflower Compact in 1620, the Pilgrims obtained a charter from England granting the right to settle on land in America owned by the Virginia Company of London, and a group of English investors agreed to pay for their trip to the New World in return for payments of furs, fish, and mineral riches. Bradford was in the first group of 102 men, women, and children who sailed on the Mayflower to Virginia. Of the 102, most were members of the Church of England whom the minority passengers who called themselves separatists or saints named strangers. However, after the 65-day trip, they ended up in Cape Cod, Massachusetts instead, and the separatists decided to remain in New England instead of sailing to Virginia in the winter. They wrote the Mayflower Compact aboard the ship, claiming the rules for government set up in their charter applied only to Virginia. This was the first effort to establish formal self-government in the New World. William Bradford was one of, the, one of the signers of the Mayflower Compact who remained in New England. The Pilgrims were said to have landed on Plymouth Rock, and when their governor, John Carver, died, Bradford was chosen to succeed him in his office and proceeded to be elected a total of 30 times over the next 35 years. History of Plymouth Plantation William Bradford wrote the experiences of the Separatists from their beginnings in Scrooby in 1620 to the Pilgrim's Colony at Plymouth in 1647 in History of Plymouth Plantation. The manuscript was passed down through generations of his family and was lost during the Revolutionary War and resurfaced in England and was eventually published in 1856 and is considered one of the most important works of the, of the colonial or early American period. In it, he tells how the pilgrims were forced to flee Holland in 1608, the immense suffering they underwent while there, and their eventual determination to sail to the New World 
on the Mayflower. The pilgrims arrived at Cape Cod on November 11, 1620, and he describes their trials and tribulations as they established their colony through 1647, when people began to question and break away from the original religious beliefs. Why is History of Plymouth Plantation important? History of Plymouth Plantation by William Bradford is important in literature because it tells the story of immigrants and how they overcame obstacles to settle our early country. The American dream, American government, American values, and American ideologies were based on the Pur Puritans' and Pilgrims' beliefs and the struggles they went through for the American dream. William Bradford's purpose for writing History of Plymouth Plantation was to tell future generations of the struggles and achievements of the pilgrims. The theme of religion implies how God can help people overcome tough obstacles if people keep faith in him, and reveals the pilgrims' strong belief in the day-to-day -day involvement of God in the lives of humans, working through providence to teach us moral lessons. The pilgrims believed that every event on earth could be interpreted as a message from God. Thus, if good things happened, God was pleased, and if disaster, disaster ensued, God was sending a message of warning or expressing displeasure. History of Plymouth Plantation is one of the most accurate accounts of the pilgrims and their lives and beliefs in existence.